Hi, today we are going to learn how to build drip content pages. Site Access Restriction is a WordPress plugin that allows you to create a membership and content restriction solution. The content restriction is based on user WordPress roles and if they are logged in or not. Choose which post type, category or even specific page should be logged and to whom. Building drip content pages means that newbie users will not be able to access some posts or pages or even post or page categories for some definite period of time after they registered. The content restriction can be set by the following options. Specific URL. You can restrict access to specific posts. This can also include URL parameters. Specific post or page. You can restrict access to a post, page or any custom post type by editing the post and using the post meta box to restrict access. Specific permalink. Some plugins create the fly pages which are only represented by permalink. In such case you can use the admin bar edit option to define content restriction. To all posts by type. Using the plugin settings you can restrict content across all posts of a certain type. To part of the content. Using a shortcode, you can limit access to part of the content in a post or page only to specific roles, user ID or user action. Let's start with the general setting up the plugin and then consider content restriction methods step by step. Navigate to CM Site Access Restriction Pro – Settings. Head to the General tab. Here we need just a few settings for configuring drip content pages. Access denied due to time restrictions. You can select the page where the user will be redirected after he tries to visit a restricted page outside of an approved time. You need to create a page where the user can see a message that the access is temporarily denied for some period of time. Restriction type. Here you can choose how much of the content is restricted. Restrict full content. Restrict all content on the page. Restrict partially content. Showing some percentage of the content with a fade effect and message. The percentage is defined lower in the option Restrict Partially Content Percentage. Restrict content with shortcode only. Show all content except those parts that are restricted by the access shortcode. The setting restriction type can be overridden for every post type and it can also be overridden for every specific post or page in the meta box. There are a few ways how you can restrict a page for some period of time after registration. Let's start with restricting all posts of a definite type. Head to the next tab of the settings – Post Types. In this section you can restrict all posts which belong to a custom post type, as well as restrict access to the general pages and posts. There is a long list of items that you can restrict. For our use case, to restrict access to posts for some period of time for newbie users, we need the following options. Access denied X days from registration. Access is restricted for users that registered less than X days ago. Let's set here the value 14. It means if the user was registered less than 14 days ago, he won't be able to access all WordPress posts on your site until that time passes. Restriction type. Here you can optionally choose the type of restriction between global settings or free options that overwrite options in the general tab of settings. At the end of configuring the settings, click the Save button. You can control the access to specific pages or posts using a meta box located in each page or post once editing the post. You can edit the posts or pages in two ways. First, open the list with posts, for example, and click the Edit button by hovering on the needed post. Another way can be useful when some plugins create the fly pages which are only represented by permalink. In such case you can use the admin bar edit option to define content restriction. In both cases you can find the meta box site access restriction. It looks the same as in plugin settings and it works the same. The difference is, in plugin settings you define global settings for all posts of chosen type and in meta box you can configure access restriction for specific post that overrides global settings. And here you can also choose the option follow global options for this post type. So let's set here the value 21 in the field access denied x days from registration. As a result, this post will not be available for newbie users 7 days longer than other posts that are restricted for 14 days. When you change the settings, don't forget to click the button update to save the changes. 
Using this plugin, you can restrict access not only to some definite post types or to specific posts, but also to the post categories. It can be done via setting the restriction access to specific URLs on your site. Let's consider this use case on the example of restricting a category about rock music. First, to restrict some definite post categories, you need to make sure that your permalinks have the right structure for this. Navigate to Settings – Permalinks. There you need to choose custom structure of permalinks and set available tags in the following consequence – category, then post name. As a result, every post will have the format that you can see on the screen. It will help us to restrict all posts that belong to the definite category. To add a URL filter, navigate to CM Site Access Restriction Pro – URL Filters. Click the button Add New Filter. There you can see the field where you can put needed URL. You need to enter the exact URL address you want to match without the host name part. And in our use case, we need to add a wildcard to restrict all posts that belong to this category. The access restriction settings for URLs are the same as in the previous cases and they override global settings. So let's just set here the amount of days in the field Access Deny Text Days from registration. You can add as many URLs for restricting as you need using the button Add New Filter and don't forget to click the button Save Filters to save them. You can also remove not needed filters using the button Delete. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to build drip content pages. Thanks for watching the video!